Hello everyone, good morning. I'm inside my laboratory just doing some testing this morning. I've got quite a lot of lures to go over and just some other cool tests I'm going to be doing with this snorkel lens here. But uh, one thing I wanted to do a little bit differently today is I feel like there's this ongoing debate between monofilament and fluorocarbon as a leader. Uh, just uh, mainly is it worth it uh, to spend the money on fluorocarbon? Uh, and me personally, I've always spent money on the fluorocarbon, probably just kind of buying into the hype. But I thought that I would do some macro shots of um, both mono and fluorocarbon to see for myself. Uh, I decided for the test to use eight pound test and I was gonna use kind of a cheaper um, eight pound mono just as the reference overall, but I wanted to test two different types of fluorocarbon just to see if there's any difference. I've got the the Vanish by Berkeley and then also the Daiwa Fluoro Leader um, just to give an extra kind of variable to um, our little experiment here. So let's hop right in and see if there's any differences and hopefully we can save some money and uh, squash the debate uh, that there is a difference between the two. Okay, so I've got everything set up here. Starting off with the Berkeley and the Omniflex. And I'm really trying hard to keep all reflections away. I've got this kind of matte black card behind the spools. I've got everything lit evenly. I've got the uh, the line on the exact same focal length. And one thing I'm noticing immediately is that there really isn't a ton of difference. Let's hop right in the footage, but you should be looking right in the middle here during this test. This is the the most accurate area of zero reflection. So let's hop in there. This is pretty interesting. The reflection is almost identical between the two of them. But one thing I am seeing is that the fluorocarbon isn't perfectly reflective. There's, it's inconsistent, like it kind of shifts a bit. You can see the sort of refraction from the fluorocarbon is less extreme. So you can see right here. Right here is kind of a good example of a really backlit, both are equally backlit here. And you can see the fluoro is actually a little more invisible, which is interesting. Got my hand behind there. And same thing. I mean, it really, the color doesn't seem to be affecting the test at all. really doesn't. I'm going to try and throw a different color in there. Try and throw a different color in there and see if it makes any difference. It really doesn't. Oh, I'm messing up my whole experiment here. If you can see, even when I shifted things a little bit here, you can see I've switched to the Daiwa 8-pound uh, fluorocarbon and um, same exact variables. I've got everything on the same focus distance, same focal length, same backdrop. Okay, so we're going to do the same test here. Uh, put my hand behind the two of them. And it looks like... Pretty much the same, same thing here. Really not noticing much difference at all between the visibility. Let's grab our little light wand here. And same thing. Not really noticing anything. There's maybe a little bit more 
a little less refraction happening with the Daiwa, I suppose. Grab our little different colored piece here, put that behind, and uh, you know, kind of the same thing. Same, same thing. It's really. I'm not noticing any kind of refraction difference. I'm not noticing any visibility difference. I keep putting my hand behind it, trying to see if I'm going to see any kind of weird difference. And maybe, maybe when I analyze the footage in 4K, I'll be able to see a difference. But to eye, like to my eye, which is what the fish are going to see, I don't see any difference between the two of them. Um, it's. I'm glad I did this because I'm trying to save money in fishing this year. And, um, I don't know, coming, this is, uh, coming from someone that's bought fluorocarbon for a bunch of years and kind of swore by it. I don't know why I swore by it. I should have, uh, done more tests and, um, I don't know, I could have saved tons of money over the years. It's kind of a bummer, but I don't know, maybe this is helpful to you. I know that strength-wise and strength test, the monofilament is almost stronger in some cases, so... I think I'm going to be switching to mono this year. Um, I don't know. I just, uh, I almost feel like I wasted a bunch of money. But let me know if this was helpful to you. Uh, I hope to do some more tests like this in the future. And I hope you're enjoying your day. Take care and peace.